Amoy pangutana, sa usa ka bagyo ka kinsa mang atop ang unang paliron. Atong hibalon human sa ato ang istorya. Welcome to the second week of Laudato series, The Cry of the Poor. For this week, we are going to discuss climate justice, justicia, patas. Each one of us is blessed with this wonderful planet that provides us with everything. So dapat kita putanan ang makapahimulos ni Ini. But sometimes we tend to forget that these blessings come with responsibility. Dapat kita putanan ang mag-amlig sa atong kinaiyahan. To achieve ecological balance, humanity must live with the natural limits in connected relation to all of creation. However, the world's most developed countries have been exploiting the world's natural resources in the name of development. Did you know that the top three global greenhouse gas emitters are China, European Union, and the United States? They are accountable for more than half of the global total emissions, while the bottom 100 countries only account for 3 to 5 percent. What's more alarming is the Philippines is only accountable to 0.39 percent of the global greenhouse gas emissions. However, we rank as the country most vulnerable to this climate crisis. Kanais para nila, no? Grabe og improvements ang ilang ekonomiya but naa diri sa atoa ang bagyo og kalamidad. Now let's go back to the question at the beginning of my video to catch a smaller scale glimpse of the interconnectedness between the sufferings of the poor and the sufferings of our planet. A well-built house with an air conditioner will still feel cool amid the rising temperature compared to a low-cost house, which is more vulnerable to this climate crisis. But take note that the stronger house had more emissions than the latter. The rich, no matter how dry the soil is, can always buy imported produce from malls, but the poor will suffer at the death of their crops. This is where climate justice comes in. Those who contribute the least to the climate crisis suffer its gravest consequences. In our call for accountability and the responsibility to care for our common home, join us, be with us. That's it for now. See you next week.